Hey there, my name is Michael, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Android Wireframe UI Kit for Photoshop that you can get from applypixels.com. With this template, you can very quickly build out prototypes and mockups. Some of the highlights include most standard Android Nougat assets in a simplified look, really good for those early low fidelity mockups, and smart organized artboards with vector objects. What you need is a copy of Photoshop, preferably CC15 or later, as we need artboard support, and this folder downloaded from applypixels.com. Inside the folder, you'll find the template PSD file. Now let's take a look at it. It looks something like this. You'll notice all these screens laid out. They contain standard Android Nougat compositions and elements for you to build off. They've all been meticulously created in Vector to be as versatile as possible. You can pretty much edit everything in here. Let me just give you a quick demo of how I work with this template. What I usually do is I create a new document, drag that out to the side, and to get started creating my wireframe, I select one of the artboards that I want to build off. We might go ahead and choose something really simple as the settings screen, and you can go ahead and find that in the layers pane out here. There's the artboard. And you simply select it and drag it into your new document. And then Photoshop pretty much creates an artboard with those same dimensions. Now this document pretty much becomes the first building block of your wireframe. And maybe you're not really looking to depict a setting screen, but you can just go ahead and edit that. You can just kind of uh, remove the, the list, for example. Maybe this screen is really about finding ice cream, which I think is a lot more interesting than settings. So we'll just go ahead and rename that to ice cream finder. And obviously to find our ice cream, we probably need some sort of component with a map. Well, let's go ahead and find that in the Android Wireframes UI kit. We'll just zoom in. Here's a map. Let's just drill down and track out the map part of this artboard. We'll just select it and drag it into our new document. And this is pretty much how you build out your low fidelity prototype. You find the assets that you need in the wireframe UI kit, you drop them into the artboards of your new document and you then start to build out this concept that you're working on. And when you need a new artboard, a new screen in the document, you can either drop in an artboard, an existing artboard from the Android wireframe UI kit and build off that like we just did, or you can uh, go to the new document make sure to select the artboard up here and you'll then notice that a small plus appears next to it and if you click that plus photoshop will create a new artboard with those exact same dimensions and if you want to copy some ui components from one screen to this new artboard all you need to do is select those objects for example the nav bar and the bottom bar status bar and you copy those into the new artboard and notice how those objects are being dropped into the exact same pixel position relative to the artboard. That's really cool. And that's pretty much how I work with the wireframe UI kit. I use it as my own personal assets board of sorts. I find the elements that I need. I drag them into new documents. I manipulate and tweak them. And it really does hold the most standard UI elements in here. But the things that are not here are easily created from the vector elements in the file. Also, one last thing to note is that while all of these objects are made in the simplified black and white style with fewer details, they're conventionally very close to the Android Nougat UI. Same text sizes, same grids, same containers. And that means that when it's time to add more fidelity to the mockups, it's very easy to upgrade them to something that more closely resembles the final product. All in all, this is a great tool when you're taking those first steps and creating wireframes for Android. I really hope this template helps you make better apps. You can get this resource and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. Thanks for watching.